Hey guys, thanks for joining us again on Just Swinging at Homestead. Hello. <laughs> uh, so today is the day. The day we're finally finishing the chicken coop. It's been taking forever. Between... Hopefully. Hopefully finishing it. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was raining. We had severe thunderstorms this morning, but it's uh, the afternoon now and supposed to have clear skies, so we'll see. Um, but between rain and life and you know, recovering from surgery and whatnot. Uh, it's been taking a lot longer than we anticipated, but um, we worked on it yesterday. I'll have a link to that video above. Um, and yeah, so today we're gonna work on the automatic chicken feeders. And for, uh, we're gonna use an automatic feeder for the grit, um, their calcium uh, oyster shell supplement, and their grit. Uh, to help their digestive system. So super simple process, uh, just using some PVC pipe, um, some PVC fittings, just a gravity fed um, system. Uh, that's gonna allow us to basically not have to monitor it every day, twice a day. Um, we will still, of course, go out and check on them and whatnot, but we won't have to feed them um, every single day with, with these you know, supplements or with the feed, um, so that'll be nice. And it'll allow us to do like long weekend trips and whatnot um, without having to have somebody on the homestead watching after them um, for the purpose of feeding them and whatnot. So anyway, uh, thanks for coming along for the journey. Super simple stuff. And um, stay tuned. So we went to Lowe's and basically got some three inch PVC um, in a five foot section, uh, a couple of three inch 90s, and a three inch insert cap. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half and make two automatic gravity fed feeding systems. They are just going to be dry fit. There's actually no reason for us to glue this stuff together. And that's it, guys. Super simple, super efficient. Good to go. So now I am going to actually uh, make a little uh, container out of some tin roofing that I have and I'll probably end up kind of cupping this and making a small little trough here just to make it easier for them. Uh, but you don't have to do that. You could optionally just cut this out uh, or could just leave it as is. Super cool. So since we got these slip-in uh, little caps here, they were about a third of the cost of a traditional PVC slip-on cap, um, and they're going to work perfect for what we need. But they are going to be kind of a pain to pop in and out, and you have to get in there with your nails. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a little hole in here, put a little piece of wire in there, and make a little loop hook. So, nice and convenient.
Um, so right now, I am sitting inside of the chicken coop. Josh is back and acting up again. So I am going to attempt to finish the coop on my own with his provision. He's sitting right outside the coop. And I've got to cut the door for them to get in and out of the coop over here in the corner using this. So it's gonna be interesting. I've gotta measure everything out, cut it, um, build the ramp, build the ramp. Put the hinges hinges on. Hinges on what? Oh yeah, no hinges, I'm sorry. When we've got to also get the um, get the pulleys and the cable. Pulleys and the cable for the door to pull it at open and closed without having to walk into the run. And then also, sorry, our neighbors are cutting a tree. Um, we need to still build the box, the nesting boxes. And we're crazy. We don't even have this done. And yet today we're adopting a chicken. That's already laying. And she's laying already. So like, we've got to at least get it in here so where they yeah. can, you know. As like worst case scenario, um, we have, uh, you know, those, those, plastic milk crates yeah we could put bedding in there put it in the corner which um, we'll probably have to do for her yeah um if we don't finish the nesting boxes today so we we do have a backup plan and she will be comfortable she'll be here in like an hour yeah <laughs> so we've got to get on this all right all right so all right. measure everything out So you see that? Yep. And it's very important to hold that very tight. I don't know that this is going to work. Would you feel more comfortable with the jigsaw? Yeah. Do you want to start it with that? Make the first cut there going horizontally? Yeah. I'm going to lose burning over there. I don't know. Watch your fingers. Hold it very tight. And go. push this button in, right? Yeah. Um, hold this it very doesn't tight. stay? No. Alright, hold it very tight. Now take it off of the wood and start it, and then you're going to cut down into it. So we're gonna make a little makeshift um, nesting box. Well, that way when we get the hen today and our other nesting boxes aren't finished, she at least will have somewhere to. Ruh-roh. Yeah. It broke. Oh wait, you can pull it out and then there's still another blade in here. Yeah, you can reverse it.
Just give me that drill bit. One more. So we're actually using um, fence pickets uh, and some scrap wood for the ramp for the chicken coop. That'll work. You need to do pilot holes or no? No. Hey y'all, so I'm going to show y'all the final um, outcome of the chicken coop, what we've done for the feeding system, the ramp, inside the coop, and everything. So, Alright, so let's take a look. Right, we have a latch to get in. Yes, my hand looks a hot mess. I stabbed myself with a pair of scissors on accident. Y'all get back. So the run, you can stand up all the way in. What are y'all girls doing? I already gave y'all some sunflower seeds. Go on. So we have just a bell waterer hanging from a piece of rope. Get some new water. They always get it so dirty. And over here is feeder, which they like to sit on. That's why there's poop all over it. So we have some PVC pipe running down. And it just, it's a gravity feed. That's all it is. So once it's, they start messing with it, it starts coming out. We've got the same thing for the grit and the oyster shell for them. And then the ramp. Their little sign. We took some thick plastic pieces and we've stapled it to the inside and made flaps. This will help cut down on the draft too, but still enable them to come and go out of the coop as they please. And then inside the coop, the roosting bars, a nesting box. Those are not real eggs in there. Those are just fake eggs to get them to start laying. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And then I'll show you all the door that we have set up so we can get in and clean out the coop and sweep it out and everything. Come here. What is it? The chicken's like, nope. Hey, Hope.
And that that one right there, that's Big Mama. That's the one we adopted. We don't have names for the other ones yet. Gotta watch these things coming at me. Start pecking at me. Mean things. So here are the feeders outside of the coop. So we in the run, so we do not have to go inside in order to feed them. We just pop off this little cover, throw in their feed, which they're about halfway. Cover it. And then the same thing for the grit and the oyster shell. Like I said, it's gravity fed, so the more they eat, the more it'll come out or come out as needed. So on the outside of the run, we have a latch door. So and swings open, lifts up. We've got a feeder inside the coop. We have got the ceramic heating bulb. Like I said, those are not real eggs. And I do not see any fresh eggs. So they did not lay any today. Which is okay. They just started laying. We got two yesterday. So yeah. We took plastic around um, the slats where the privacy fence is. That way it will cut down on the draft for when winter comes. To keep it a little warmer in here. So yeah, that's it.